I'm Dr. Jeff Carter with the Practice Design Group, and I'm going to describe in detail the number one question we get, and that is, can I afford my project? Based on our experience over the years, optimally designed facilities average a 35% increase within two years, and that's assuming that they add some functional capacity to their existing office. So based upon that, we use two metrics to, to help you determine, can I afford my project? One of those is, will the lender approve my project funds based on a review of my practice financials? Lenders are very thorough in, in vetting a practice to make sure that whatever you're taking on makes sense from a, from a business financial standpoint with your current practice situation. The other metric we use is that a 20% or less production increase required to fund the new facility related costs, it's a go, that's a viable project, 20% or less, because remember at the top here we said an optimally designed facility, a well-designed facility at the end of two years typically experiences a 35% production increase. So for a 20% or less, that's a very viable project. For example, if you need a $25,000 increase in production to carry the new facility related costs, well that's gonna be too much. So if we take $25,000, divide your $50,000 monthly production into that, that's a 50% increase in production to carry the new facility related costs. So that's a no-go. That's, that's too much of a jump based upon we're typically gonna go up 35% at the end of two years, we're not gonna make it to 50%. So we would say, no, that's too much of an increase. So 20% or less is a viable project and lender approval. And as always, our goal and commitment at Impact Design is to assist you to achieve your ideal dental facility vision. We hope you found this helpful.